Hello guys, and welcome to Met Speamer. I've decided to create informational videos on the F20 and F21 1 series. Hopefully these videos will help you buy a decent one. I've already made an N13 engine video the other day, which seemed to be popular. So let me know which F20 you want to buy, and I shall try and put a engine video together for you. Today though, I will be focusing on the 8-speed automatic transmission which is known as the ZF8HP which is built by the ZF Group which stands for Zanradfabrik Friedrichshafen. I am so sorry about that, I cannot speak German at all. Anyway, the 8 in the code refers to the number of gears in the gearbox, in this case 8. The ZF8HP took over the role from the famous 6-speed which was known as the ZF6HP. HP stands for Hydraulic Converter and Planetary Gear Sets. The first car to use the 8-speed gearbox was BMW with the brand spanking new BMW F01 760Li which was their flagship V12 car back in 2008. Since then, all the manufacturers jumped on board one a piece of the action, such as Alfa Romeo, Alpina, Aston Martin, Audi, Bentley, Kreuzer, Dodge, Haval, Iveco, Jaguar, Jeep, Lamborghini, Lancia, Land Rover, Maserati, Dodge Trucks, Rolls Royce, Toyota, Vinfast, Volkswagen and obviously the BMW range. I believe it is in quite a lot of BMWs all the way from the 1 series up to the 8 series. It's amazing that this gearbox can be paired up with a little engine like my 1.6 1 series up to a massive V12 in the Rolls Royce. Saying this though, each gearbox will have differences to handle different amounts of power. I believe that the early F20s had the ZF H HP45 which could handle up to 450 Nm of torque on petrol cars and 500 Nm of torque on diesel cars, while the LCI models, which is the facelifted models, had the second generation ZF8 HP50, which could handle up to 500 Nm on both petrol and diesel cars. The second generation came out in 2014, and the third generation was released in 2018. What to look out for when buying one? These gearboxes are very good to be honest. When putting the car from park to any gear, it should react very quickly and there should be no hesitation, noises or any sudden jolts. It should be smooth like butter. So basically, I recommend when looking at one of these BMs that you put the car into all the possible gears while standing still. Also when driving, you should put the gearbox in every single situation possible. For example, start-stop traffic, driving on the motorway, back lanes. Basically, these cars are very good at changing gears. If you notice anything wrong, I wouldn't consider buying it. But, saying that, there is a situation when the gears can start messing about, like hunting up and down, or driving a bit more harsher. And that could be down to the way the gearbox has learnt the way you drive. So if a car is messing about, maybe you could suggest to the owner to reset the gearbox. This clears out the memory on the gearbox, which means it has to learn again, and it will learn the way you drive. I remember that my old E38 7 series from years ago also had a similar feature. If you hear any type of whining on these gearboxes, I would walk away as well, because there should be no noises at all. Um, I have heard of gearboxes making noises, and usually they are replaced on warranty. If you can, I would recommend that you get someone or yourself to check around the gearbox itself, looking for leaks, etc. Servicing the ZF8HP. As far as I know, BMW says that the gearbox is sealed for life and doesn't need servicing. But the more you go into asking the dealerships, they mean that life is 100,000 miles. And to be honest, they can do a lot more than that just by servicing them. There is no type of oil where that can do that kind of mileage and still be of high quality. I believe that a few sources recommend changing the oil on these gearboxes every 60,000 miles. So it's worth asking the owner if the gearbox oil has been changed or serviced. I don't think BMW will perform this job themselves, but a decent specialist 
will do a service on this gearbox herself or some sort of gearbox specialist. Anyway, if your car has done over 100,000 miles with no servicing on the gearbox, then changing the oil on this gearbox can do more harm than good. The best people to speak to is the ZF specialist. If they don't know, then no one will. The oil used in this gearbox is called the ZF Lifeguard Fluid 8, which isn't cheap, but it's so much cheaper spending money on a decent service than a new gearbox. I think it's about £700 to get this gearbox serviced by a pro, but I'm not too sure. Oh, and also, just make sure you use the genuine ZF Fluid only. Don't faff about with other brands, even high quality brands, because gearboxes are very, very sensitive. Well, the newer ones are anyway. Anyway, I may show how to change the gearbox oil in my car in the future, if I decide to keep it. I've only done 25,000 miles at the moment, or maybe less. I hope this video was of some use to you. If you want to know about certain engines or anything else F20 related when it comes to buying a BMW, please let me know. Um, I will do my best. Thank you and take care. Goodbye.